Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my initial thoughts on the Forza Motorsport trailer or showcase presentation, whatever you want to call it, that dropped a few days ago. So I was actually working when it all dropped, so I did miss it. I was expecting just to jump on Twitter and see a proper release date. That didn't happen and then a bunch of screenshots emerged and basically people were just kind of saying, look, the models, they're really not that good. Um, it's all just kind of showy and flashy and everything looks shiny. But underneath, there's a lot of kind of rough edges. So I was kind of like, you know what? I'll take a look for myself. I'll make my own judgment. And I honestly feel like I came away with it with more questions than actual answers. So honestly, yes, we saw quite a bit of what I like to say trailer gameplay. So what I mean by this is it all looks very pretty. There's decent angles and stuff. But we saw very much a lack of actual proper gameplay. We saw a little bit, you know, featuring the hood and stuff. And in all honesty, that's the main downside. I do not like the hood within this game. Hopefully that changes up. But it's been a while since that original kind of gameplay showcase or whatever that we got um, last year. And I was kind of hoping to see a bit more of it, get a proper feel for what this game's going to play like. And there was just a massive lack of it. But what I did see kind of made me feel like this was very much towards the arcadey side of Simcade. It seemed very much kind of balanced towards controller rather than having, you know, maybe decent wheel support and kind of getting the balance right between, you know, controller and wheel, which is what I was hoping for. Maybe it was just the camera angles, but that is what I got and kind of the vibes I got when watching this whole thing. So, yeah, I wasn't kind of too impressed from the little that I actually saw proper in-game gameplay. There was a bit with the Corvette and the sound design and stuff, and I kind of thought, yeah, this looks very much kind of, you know, arcadey side of Simcade, you know, not the nice balance I was expecting, but who knows, maybe when we actually get to try it for ourselves or we see actual more gameplay, then we'll kind of get a proper feeling for what it's all about. They did kind of say, like, they basically, you know, it's their most realistic Forza Motorsport to date, but looking at it, it just didn't really feel that way. In terms of the actual graphics, though, it did look very good, but there was times where it just didn't feel like this big graphical powerhouse that it's meant to be. And I feel like some of that was in the more minor details. Certain car models just didn't look that good or that impressive. There was a moment where they went through kind of the aero and custom car um, on the Mazda MX-5. And kind of underneath, it was just very blurry. Um, you can only slightly see it, but when you kind of look around that car, it just looked very rough around the edges. Same with kind of some of the background. There was a bit at night where you could kind of see out in the, to what I'm going to assume was supposed to be a little village, and it looked very flat. It just really wasn't that impressive. There's also what you see now, the Mercedes, which there's a big kind of thing going around at the minute with that same model in Forza 4 that it looks better in 2011 than it does kind of in this current trailer and from that kind of picture i have to agree but i don't know if that's kind of been you know doctored in any way which is highly possible but hey how um so yeah i mean some of it looked absolutely phenomenal especially kind of the track detail and the way the gravel and sand looked um but then other times it just looked a bit okay this is it really i I don't know, I was really on the fence with it. Sometimes I was like, yeah, wow, this is stunning. Other times I was just like, mm, okay. So another thing that I'm a bit on the fence with is sound design. So what we did see was this whole talk about how everything sounds brilliant and it did sound very, very good. But for me personally, I used to think that Forza games of old had much better sound design than, you know, some of the more recent Forza games. Maybe that's just me, but that was my personal opinion. And I'm a bit worried it's going to continue that way. You know, it's all good showcasing one car with its full sound on show. But hopefully this is a proper across the board thing. And it basically transitions to every single car in the game. Hopefully they all sound unique. There was talk on, you know, certain parts making the car sound different and stuff. But this has kind of been a main thing for a lot of racing games for, you know, quite a while now. So it's nothing really to majorly brag about. But... You know, sound design, it sounded good from what I saw, but I'm still a little bit on the fence that maybe they'll fall into like what happened to Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Horizon 5, in my opinion. So now there's the other kind of elephant in the room, uh, the release date. 
So I did mention that obviously I expected a release date and there wasn't one. It seemed like last year they were aiming for the first half of 2023 and we still have no confirmed release date. So in my opinion, it seems like it's possibly been delayed, which gives me kind of worrying signs. Are they really that confident in this game? What are they hoping to iron out? For me, a delay is a good thing if they're then going to go and basically improve the game entirely, you know. Go back, iron out the things that they're not so confident about, and just make it the best possible game. And I feel like this is what went wrong with GT7, was the fact that I feel like it should have been delayed, and they didn't. It was just kind of thrown out there, and now it's playing catch-up. So hopefully they don't make the same mistake, and they go ahead and basically make it the best possible product on release. And it doesn't fall into the trap that a lot of modern games in general fall into where you know kind of it's rushed to release and it's just not anywhere near the standard that people expect so it does appear to be delayed i'm going to assume that it'll probably come at the end of 2023 now the only part of the kind of release date we got was that it is coming this year so as far as we know it is still 2023 but i'm going to assume it's coming to the end of the year now not the kind of first half of 2023 like it was you know kind of originally going to happen so Overall, what is my opinion on the kind of presentation that we got? For me, it was very much too much trailer footage, too very kind of PR-like, uh, very much kind of too sim KD and focused on the controller footage than, you know, kind of showcasing these physics or whatever they reckon they've got going. Hopefully, we get more in-depth, proper, you know, hands-on gameplay footage a year later or whatever. Um, compared to the original trailer and we can see what progress they've made in that sense so yes for me it's a visually stunning game i think it's going to show off really what the xbox can do i think obviously if you've got the pc to run it as well that would probably be the best place to play it but in terms of a console based racer whatever you want to call it yeah it is very very pretty a little bit rough around the edges maybe that'll kind of be touched up before the actual release sound design sounded good but i'm still kind of on the fence there and in just in terms of the overall kind of you know i guess presentation it felt very kind of we're going to hype it up and talk about things that most people you know care about but then we're going to go into detail where people are going to stop losing you know start losing focus you know around like how different we've done it in different sounds and stuff like that, how we've got it to all sound different you know i feel like people are going to kind of you know brush over that bit Another thing I do want to touch on is the uh, Forza Aero. I feel like this, again, is another thing that I've seen kind of around online everywhere is that the Aero is just the same basic Forza Aero. And I agree. Hopefully, this is something that changes on the final release again. So I'm not going to go too much into that. I feel like people are really kind of milking that. Um, you know, it could change, but it may not, which will be a bit disappointing. Hopefully, they get the customization right for this game. So, yeah. There we have it. That is my initial thoughts on the Forza Motorsport kind of reveal big trailer. Shame we haven't got a release date. Hopefully, if they are delaying it, they go and make it the best possible racer it can be. And hopefully, we see a bit more about this game. Um, obviously, the single player, cannot wait for it. It's, you know, it's single player, car building focused. Multiplayer, that seems to be having a bit of a refresh. So, hopefully, that's uh, very much solid too. And that's going to be it. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn those notifications on so you don't miss an upload from me. That is going to be it from me today. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And uh, thank you for listening to me. You do basically do something a little bit different. Um, I'll have my Twitter, my Discord, all that in the description down below. So if you want to get in contact with me or just chat about cards in general, they're the places to be. I'll also have my donation link. Thank you to my sponsors, the controller people and poggers for their support for the channel recently. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Take care, guys. And don't forget, peace.